From VOA Learning English, this is the Health Report. The ancient Romans are known for military strength and political complexity, but the empire also developed a public sanitation system. The Romans built public latrines or toilets with many seats and washing areas. They also brought in fresh drinking water and warm water for cleaning. They even had laws to keep the towns free of human and other waste. But new archaeological research shows that baths and public toilets with washing areas did not lower disease rates. In fact, some diseases slowly increased compared to the period just before Roman rule of Europe. Piers Mitchell is with the Archaeology and Anthropology Department of Cambridge University in England. He led the new research. The findings suggest that Roman toilets, washing areas, and sanitation laws had no clear benefit to public health. Mitchell gathered evidence of insects in ancient latrines and human burials. He also examined combs and cloth from archaeological digs across the Roman Empire. Although the Romans were known for regular bathing, Mitchell found lice and fleas were just as widespread as in earlier times. So why did the Roman development of sanitation systems fail? Mitchell says it may have been the warm waters of the bathhouses that people shared. The waters were often not changed and scum or a layer of human dirt would float on the top of the bathing water. He says there is an upside. It seems that while Roman sanitation may not have made people any healthier, they probably would have smelled better. For VOA Learning English, I'm Ann Ball.